Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this breakout session on teaching cutting edge CAD CAM technologies to your students. My name is Mark Bissell and I'm the senior application specialist with HCL Technologies, the makers of SolidWorks CAM and CAMWorks. And I'll be co-hosting this session along with Al Steinbach the president of and CEO of Machining Training Solutions, a leading training curriculum and software provider to educational institutions and Fortune 500 companies throughout the country and throughout the world, actually. Let's begin by discussing the importance of integrated CAD CAM, both now and in the future. In the past, fully integrated CAD CAM was exclusive only to higher end CAD CAM systems like Siemens NX and CATIA. However, more recently, the mainstream CAD CAM systems have followed suit and they now also include fully integrated CAM or computer, computer aided manufacturing. Why? Because fully integrated CAD CAM packages offer several advantages which we'll discuss shortly. And as a result, standalone CAM systems are quickly becoming obsolete. In addition, as many of you know, SolidWorks is the most widely used mechanical design package. And now it also includes a fully integrated CAM package called SolidWorks CAM powered by CAMWorks. In today's world, if educational institutions expect to keep pace, they need to be offering their engineering and advanced manufacturing students training on state-of-the-art integrated CAD CAM systems, not on obsolete standalone CAM systems. In addition, to prepare students for professional real-world positions in industry, they will need to need training on a professional integrated CAD CAM system like SolidWorks not on a CAD CAM system for makers or hobbyists. Looking at this slide, you can also see where integrated CAD CAM is the foundation for a complete product development cycle that begins with a conceptual design and progresses through several steps before the product is complete, ready, ready to go into production. In short, integrated CAD CAM plays a key role in the product life cycle. As I mentioned, most of you are well aware of the widespread use of SolidWorks for mechanical design. But a couple of years ago, SolidWorks added an integrated CAM package to every seat of SolidWorks currently on subscription called SolidWorks CAM. So what is SolidWorks CAM? SOLIDWORKS CAM is an integrated two and a half axis and three axis milling and two axis lathe programming solution by SOLIDWORKS. Using the latest cutting edge CAM technology of feature-based manufacturing, knowledge-based machining and model-based definition, SOLIDWORKS CAM can rapidly transform designs to manufactured parts by automating the CNC programming process, reducing setup and cycle times, while at the same time increasing product quality. SolidWorks CAM is powered by CAMWorks, and CAMWorks can provide additional CAM capabilities to SolidWorks, and we'll see that shortly. But first, let's take a look at SolidWorks CAM and its capabilities. SOLIDWORKS CAM is capable of programming both CNC mills and lays. Also, to be clear, every educational seat of SOLIDWORKS includes both the SOLIDWORKS CAM standard and professional versions of SOLIDWORKS CAM. For commercial customers, the standard version of SOLIDWORKS CAM is included in every seat of SOLIDWORKS currently on subscription. And the pro version 
is available only at a very attractive additional cost. However, as I mentioned, the educational seats include both the standard and pro versions, and therefore all of the functionality listed below is also included. Starting at the top, SolidWorks CAM includes Automatic Feature Recognition, or AFR, which is the ability to recognize machinable features on solid models and add them to the SolidWorks CAM feature tree automatically at the push of a button. AFR also recognizes multiple setups and automatically places the machinable features under each setup. KBM, or Knowledge-Based Machining, provides users with the ability to create machining operations with all the tools, speeds, feeds, and other machining parameters included all automatically. SolidWorks CAM can create three-axis multi-surface features and includes the ability to rough and finish machine three-axis multi-surface features. Of course, the ability to post-process toolpaths and generate G-code is also included along with an NC editor powered by Simcoe for reviewing and making any final changes to the G-code program. SolidWorks CAM also includes TBM, or tolerance-based machining. TBM uses the latest digital manufacturing technology to read SolidWorks MBD data and automatically select the correct machining strategies to meet the tolerance and surface finish requirements specified by the MBD data. The professional version of SOLIDWORKS CAM included in the educational seats adds the ability to machine SOLIDWORKS CAM assemblies that include the machine table and work holding devices along with the part model and stock. Three plus two machining with four and five axis indexing is also included in the pro version along with a very important new feature, the ability to program touch probes, which are being used at an ever increasing rate by machine shops throughout the country. Multiple SOLIDWORKS CAM configurations are also available in the pro version, which allows users to create multiple programs for different parts or machines all within a single SOLIDWORKS assembly. SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro also includes volume mill for high speed rough milling, automatic feature recognition for turning, and the ability to program two axis CNC lays. In summary, SOLIDWORKS CAM is an ideal solution for integrated CAD CAM education and training. Fully integrated CAD CAM is, an ideal, is ideal for design and manufacturing. The CAD and CAM models become one and the same, and all the CAD and CAM data is stored in a single file. There's no need to, ma to maintain separate CAD and CAM files, and there's no risk of machining an obsolete revision of the part. In addition, the toolpaths are fully associative to the design model, and update automatically to design changes, saving valuable time and effort for engineering and design when changes occur. SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS use feature-based machining, similar to feature-based design using SOLIDWORKS. Uti utilizing SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS, you can easily create parametric machinable features that are fully associative to the design model. The result is an 80 to 90% reduction in programming time as opposed to traditional standalone CAM systems. I might also mention SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS are both developed by HCL. SOLIDWORKS CAM is included in every seat of SOLIDWORKS 2018 or later currently on subscription and CAMWORKS extends SOLIDWORKS manufacturing capabilities to enable SOLIDWORKS users to program more complex CNC machines. 
all of the CAM data is fully integrated and fully compatible between SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS also include exceptional smart manufacturing technology using proprietary feature recognition technology over 20 different types of machinable features can be recognized and added to the CAMWorks feature tree automatically. Another unique smart manufacturing feature is knowledge-based machining or KBM. Using KBM, companies can capture their best practices of their top programmers and machinists into a company-owned database and reuse them automatically. Thanks to KBM, SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS enables companies to standardize their tooling and processes, create a library of machining strategies, and automate their CNC programming process. Moving forward into the new normal, automation like this will be essential for manufacturers to stay competitive. In addition, SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro also includes some advanced machining technologies. The first is Volume Mill for ultra high speed machining. Volume Mill can help you reduce cycle times by 80% or more, increase production by 400%, and increase tool life by 500%. So these are very important features that are available to companies and this is the sort of technology that you're going to want to be passing on to your students. In addition, there's also advanced probing capabilities available within both SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. This important new feature was just added recently, and it has the ability to be able to fully support touch probes like the Renishaw touch probes, for example, for probing parts and inspection purposes on the machine tool. It includes animated simulation of all the probing cycles. It also has support for the, all the Renishaw probing cycles. And there's a full set of standard probing tools that are included. And then we also have user-definable or customizable probes that can be defined by the user as well. So let's take a look now at the capabilities that are included in SOLIDWORKS CAM. And we start with the version that comes with every uh, SOLIDWORKS CAM version that comes with every seat of SOLIDWORKS 2018 or later currently on subscription. And you can see those capabilities here, including two and a half axis and three axis milling, tolerance-based machining, automatic feature recognition, knowledge-based machining, tool pass simulation, the editor, and the universal post generator. This is used for making, uh, for users to be able to make edits to their post processor and primarily uh, straightforward edits um, to make simple changes to their post processor. Next, there's pr the professional version. Of course, I, as I mentioned earlier, both the standard and professional versions are included in the educational seats of SOLIDWORKS CAM. And the professional version adds the assembly machining, the three plus two or four and five axis indexing capabilities, the two and a half axis volume mill, and also turning capabilities as well. CAMWORKS then can be added and expand the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem, the manufacturing ecosystem, and CAMWORK standards adds the ability to uh, be able to program subspindles for turning and also rotary milling. Then we move on to the CAMWORKS milling professional versions, which has full three axis milling with undercutting and mill turn included as well. And then also the CAMWORKS turning professional, which includes synchronous machining, uh, CAMWORKS virtual machine for machine simulation, and mill turn as well. 
And then finally, there's the Camworth Premium version, which includes all of the functionality that you see to the left, and in addition, adds the four and five axis simultaneous milling. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how the, uh, the packaging works. And uh, for educational purposes, of course, then um, these different packages are also available. Finally, before I turn it over to Al, I'd like to just mention that there are also SolidWorks training, uh, I'm sorry, SolidWorks CAM training and SolidWorks training that's available on Solid Professor. And so uh, Solid Professor training courses are available for both SolidWorks CAM and CAMWorks. They also include uh, expertly written courses and hands-on exercises and technical certifications as well. And uh, I might also want to mention that there are also certifications solid, through SolidWorks online um, and also through your SolidWorks reseller you could receive or resellers you can receive uh, training on SolidWorks CAM as well. So there's lots of resources or lots of sources for training that are available. Um, both through SolidWorks and through Solid Professor as well. And so now I'd like to turn the presentation over to uh, the to Mr. Al Stymack, the president and C CEO of our leading educational reseller, Machining Training Solutions, and a great personal friend. Al and I have worked together for many years, and Al is one of the most skilled advanced manufacturing specialists in the country. So, Al, are you ready to take over? Yes, Mark. Can you hear me all right? I can. Let me give you. go ahead and give you the screen then. And hopefully you can uh, show us your screen then and take over. You got all it. set. Yep, we can see it. Thanks, Al. All right. Good afternoon, all. Um, as Mark said, uh, my name is Al Steinbeck. I'm here in um, uh, Longwood, Florida. And uh, we are um, a training provider. We are in about 25 different countries. And uh, when we talk about students, uh, who is the student? In, in our case, we focus on high schools, uh, community colleges, universities, but also very heavily on the incumbent workforce, uh, try to get the existing skill set uh, into more CAD CAM and some technology uh, driven tools, and, um, and obviously uh, unemployed. So, what I want to cover a little bit about importance of manufacturing, we focus strictly on manufacturing uh, training solutions um, for all, all the skill sets and why the manufacturer is important um, and, and why we, we focus on uh, um, skill sets in, in mostly in CAD, CAM, and CNC. Uh, and also, uh, on the end, I want to do a little live demo on how we take the uh, CAM, or, uh, CAM and technology database and take it to a real um, uh, machine using a simulation software uh, that's used worldwide and still allows students to do the hands-on training even uh, even with this uh, unfortunate situation we are in today. Uh, so before that, does, does manufacturing still matter? Absolutely, right? So the, the manufacturer is the most important link to increasing our economic prosperity. And with all these uh, recent events, I think we're seeing more and more manufacturing uh, coming back to the United States. However, the, the skill set, um, you know, we got to compete on a global scale, so we can no longer do it with what we used to call cranking the handles or manual machining. You know, that's, that's where a lot of the uh, things I'm going to talk about come in. Uh, next slide. Give the next slide. Uh, all right. But manufacturing is changing, right? There, there used to be a perception of manufacturing was a dirty, dangerous, and physical job. And, and you know, uh, one of the reasons I think we have a, a, a shortage now because the perception was real and a lot of community colleges and schools stopped training in advanced manufacturing. But it's, it's uh, advanced, it's technology driven, and it's clean, um, but it's currently going to significant changes. If you haven't heard about it already, the, the Europe has a vision for advanced manufacturing. It's called Industry 4.0. In the um, United States, we call it Smart Manufacturing, which is a US vision for advanced manufacturing. You know, I kind of liked Industry 4.0 a little better because 
smart manufacturing kind of insinuates that we weren't smart before. But anyway, so um, so so what's going on in manufacturing and and, and today? Um, and, and as I said earlier, we have a training center here in Longwood, Florida, that we focus on training teachers and um, and trainers. For uh, we just recently had some trainers here from Ohio. And then we're back. We're going to start some new programs in, in the state of Ohio and also in Colorado. So today in manufacturing is, you know, the, the CAM, as Mark talked about it, he really explained really well about CAM works. And I, like I said earlier, I'm going to do a little bit of live demo. But it's also very, uh, you know, predictive analytics, big data. And, and Mark touched on that a little bit about tolerance-based machining and model-based enterprises. Today, industry is going away from 2D drawing. And that's where SolidWorks and CAMWorks really come in because they're really focused on the model-based definition uh, as far as their uh, technology is in included today. And, and why do we need a lot more students, a lot more uh, develop more training program? Right? We're facing a real skills gap, right? So manufacturers, I don't care what state you're in, there's a huge shortage uh, in, in jobs but the different type of jobs and no longer manual machining, or, or as I used to say, uh, uh, cranking the handles, the, the technology driven kind of jobs. Um, and we feel by the 2025, it's gonna be 2 million jobs gonna go unfilled unless we address something, right? So you're gonna see a lot of baby boomer retiring. And, and I truly believe that, and we see it here. We also have a manufacturing business in Longwood. Uh, our business been strong even throughout this whole COVID issue. Um, so we, we really think the economic expansion is going to be real. I think we're going to see more and more manufacturing jobs coming to the uh, U.S. But unfilled jobs negatively affect the ability to us to, ex to expand, right? And and, uh, and if we can fill just the current open position in, in, in advanced manufacturing, the, we would increase the GDP. And it's also anticipated the need for machinists and tool and die makers will grow significantly and and that's one of the reasons I think we need to address the needs. Um, average machinist is 56 years old. Um, but however, for every four machinists that are retired, only one is entering the workforce. We're having a hard time. How do we attract um, young students into it, uh, our industry? And one of the things I want to talk about later, the, the things that we use as far as simulation, CAM works, CAD, CAM, really we have be finding a really successful way of getting them back into, into our business. And not only that, uh, the reason we need to get more young people involved and more students is because uh, um, we've got to capture some of the tribal knowledge that we're going to lose with, as, as these retirees uh, leave our industry. And uh, we feel the current training is not meeting the needs of manufacturers um, for in advanced manufacturing CNC technology. Today, the components that we are manufacturing are a lot more complex. It's much more difficult to do when we're using manual machining um, than using a CAD CAM system. So as I said earlier, the lack of skilled workforce is the number one barrier to our growth. And, and uh, I'm really thankful the solid professor put together this event, uh, maybe try to kind of see what's out there and, and how do we maybe even, even we're facing some challenges, you know, how do we address, how do we even working from home, we can still continue to develop the skill set that the industry so drastically needs, right? And we think there's no one size fit all, but employer driven uh, work based learning is one way uh, that we think that employees can. Um, and we've been successfully in, in working training program with industry where we actually the, um, have trainees and companies using CAM works and our uh, curriculum and simulation all combined and be very successfully advancing uh, the current workforce. But also there's gonna be a um, path forward, the talent pipeline uh, in, in manufacturing. So this is in case, in our case, we have a CNC production specialist. Uh, we're here in Florida and um, we based all our training and everything we're gonna talk about are based on German apprenticeship program. And we also have a registered apprenticeship program here that leads into journeyman certification. And in our case, uh, state of Florida, um, realize that not everybody's going to go to a, a school, so they put a value on an industry certification. In our case, our certification is, is got a value of um, a funding goes back to schools. But not only that, most importantly, if a high school uh, individual earns an industry certification like that, they can articulate it 
uh, to, towards a college degree with up to 19 college credits. Right. And then, then we also have an additional um, one to two year training and experience, and then CAM2, and also NIMS and uh, IHK certification. And then ultimately, uh, one of the skills that we find it is drastically needed to everywhere is advanced CAM. Uh, we see a lot of more five axis, high speed machining. Everything is into um, getting getting more more technology driven. So, what's the challenge? You maintain the pipeline. Uh, you know, training, retraining, uh, skill labor is a challenge already. But then, how do you keep up with that? And also, the, the latest manufacturing technology as they are advancing uh, uh, processes. The CAM systems are getting much more powerful, and we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing with CAM works. In our case, we've been able to take their technology database. And the reason we uh, introduced put CAMWorks in every one of our, our technical packages for all the schools is the knowledge base. Uh, and and I'll, I'll get a little bit more detail on it. Uh, we also have a, a computer simulator. When I say a computer simulator, and I'll show you a little bit, we have a real CNC machine that student has to, uh, they have to set up that does full collision detection. And whether they, you are hands-on in school or virtual training, uh, really, helps the student hands-on much quicker and it also uh, finishes what we call a digital twin. Uh, we have a, a machine shop here that we we simulate everything before we take it to the shop floor. Then we know the whole process is complete. Everything is good. And the other focus we had, um, unfortunately, the situation here recently happened, but we work with a lot of high school guidance, you know, to prepare, you know, they're trying to prepare the students for college degree a lot of times they overlook opportunities for skill trade and, and that's I think for the depleting the uh, pipeline and and we recently uh, hired a gentleman from he was homeschooled went through one of our training program one of the technical colleges and he's 20 years old today and I tell you it's amazing what you can do using uh, cam works in our simulation and run CNC machines and 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 manufacturers a career right so so today um, as you see here, all machinists is no longer, you're going to know how to set up and operate a machine, but you got to understand CAD and CAM and also all the way up to the uh, engineering associate's degree. I'm not going to this chart, but it's really, it is a pipe, it's a whole career ladder. And um, we've been very successful trying to get the people using the technologies to move up the ladder. So, uh, you know, when, when, when we, um, you know, what changes in manufacturing start with, with, with industry and education, you know, when do we accept new way of doing things? There's no longer, as I said earlier, um, I still go to do presentation and, and I still get into challenges by individuals. So why well, everybody needs to learn machining on cranking handles, uh, running a bridge port first or a drill press. Uh, but, you know, that's one of the reasons I think we're having a more difficult time attracting the students. In our case, we get them excited using the, the simulation, using CAD and CAM. And then if they need to learn manual machine, it's because, oh, by the way, you're going to learn how to run a bridge port. So this really worked really well with us. We found that younger generation has an incredible relationship with technology and they can really uh, move it move it fairly quick. How much time I got, Justin, here? Uh, uh, I got plenty of time. So we think we need more CAM, simulation technology-based education manufacturing. Um, we've been very successful by the progress that we've started in, in many schools around uh, not only US, but like I said earlier, almost 30 different countries. So why do we use CAM system in simulation? Uh, so besides the training um, facility here, uh, we're here in Longwood. And we have a really working machine shop here. We are a job shop. We do aerospace. Uh, we do a lot of military kind of parts. Uh, and we make stuff for NASCAR, sprint cars. So the training we do for teachers in a, in a working environment in a regular machine shop. Um, everything we have here is the technology. Mostly all, it's all CNC machines. So we can accelerate product development. In a lot of cases, uh, we use the feature definition of CAMWorks for coding purposes. Um, I get a, we get a part, we get run it through a CAMWorks technology database, and it'll tell me, oh, it'll take five minutes, and it kind of really quickly helps us from that standpoint. 
And the biggest one is uh, we hire a lot of interns here. We work with a lot of young uh, folks and mostly women, a lot of women here. This this the recently was all woman a machine shop. We found a really successful way of training uh, women to to learn this industry. But technology, you know, I'm a journeyman machinist by trade. It took usually eight thousand hours so you finish an apprenticeship. Uh, it's too long when nobody can wait for that. So what we've been able to do, we set up a, a technology database that we put the feeds and speeds, the tool pad, There's certain things that take a long time to learn into the, the CAM. And so we found we can get the students to do hands-on much, much quicker. And then uh, um, and we can get them on a machine probably five times faster than we could have if we did not do that. So we found that that uh, uh, it's helped, and then after that, they can learn the other stuff. Uh, the other one is you can simulate risk or dangers in a control safe environment. Uh, you, I guarantee you, you travel. I don't know. You might be a teacher, CT, or in school or community college, but it's most schools are gun shy to really put anybody, everybody on the machines uh, because they're afraid of crashes, safety, and all of that. Uh, we work with a lot of high schools, and I'll get into it earlier. Uh, a little later on. So that helps a lot. You can create all the collisions virtually, crash the machine, make all your mistakes and learn. And then once you foolproof it, then you can go on a real machine. Our learning methods are identical to real world scenarios. So every training program that we offer, we have curriculum that goes from 60 hours all the way to 8,000 hours full apprenticeship program. Uh, they're all exactly tools that are used in industry. That's why we use CAMWorks education-wise in every school that we're into. And, and our, our simulation is real CNC machines that's used also in industry. So even though the, the, we provide those tools for education, it's the same tools they use for making money as a business. Uh, it's customizable to many combination machines and control. Uh, for example, there's a lot of HTEC center, Haas centers that teach uh, Haas, um, a technical training around the, the country. We work very closely with them, but you might have a house technical train uh, center, but industry in that area wants to learn Cinemeric or Siemens. In our case, we can teach a Siemens control and also then do a hands-on training um, on a real uh, on Haas machine. Um, we also found it's extremely effective for levels uh, of technology and skill. Uh, Valencia Community College uses our training program and the, the oldest person, you know, we are in a lot of high school, the oldest person that came to us for training from Valencia College was 81 years old. So, and, and believe it or not, um, his wife thanked us from getting out of the house, but he did it extremely well. And, and after he got the certification, believe it or not, he got a job. So. Uh, we feel engages the younger generations much more effectively and, and, and uh, uh, increasing the motivation and passion for manufacturing. We have really uh, had a very good success with young people uh, working in, in, our, in our environment with the tools that we use. Um, and completes the digital twin. If you ever heard of the digital twin, every company in the world anymore, they, they want to be able to completely simulate every part of the process, including the factory floor, ergonomics, machining everything before it goes into real production and it does does helps a lot it makes us a much more productive and so forth nasa hunch so if you ever heard of sort of success stories um this is uh, the part that you see on the right it's a fitting and today um uh, this part is sitting on a space station so if you are a school there you're a ct teacher it's an incredible program where NASA works with, with young people to learning our industry and making parts that go into space. Okay, so, so in this case, this is a high school and um, this is, the, 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 this is Bayside. Bay, Bayside High School over Space Coast. Uh, the part you see on right is a, seven, is a stainless steel part that was uh, done by students using CAMWORKS. This is a high school that uses our curriculum. They have 145 students in the school. Um, they're here in our training center, and you can see them. You'll never see a kid that's bored or not paying attention. And this part was designed using CAD CAM by high school students. Um, 
There was program with our, with our assistance with the high school students. And then even though the school has their own machines, they were really gun shy because it's a really difficult stainless steel part. And they uh, um, came to our facility and they're down here. Uh, you see it on the bottom where they're running these parts on one of our machines. So, so what happens with the NASA hunch program, if you, as a school gets approved to make parts that go into space, um, work with kids, uh, high schools or community colleges, uh, it is the excitement is incredibly uh, unbelievable, you know, compared to just making a normal widget or, or a test part, uh, making real parts. And then when, after they make it, they have to do a full quality report, first article, just like you would um, in, in a regular business. And then every student gets a ticket uh, to go watch their parts being launched for whatever uh, launch date, whatever that might be. So if, if you're a school or, or anything, you know, look it up, try to get involved. It's a really, uh, I give NASA a lot of credit for getting young people, people engaged in that kind of industry. So, so with this, I want to do I want to do a little uh, little live demo, and Justin is over here going to help me a little bit. Uh, can you see, uh, Mark? Can you see my screen there? Yep, we can see it now. All right. So, so, so this is one of the parts that we use. This is a, this is a KMOX environment, and we use this part. And we everything we try to do training wise or teaching wise is project based. And we still believe the projects are extremely crucial. Uh, in teaching and, and try to get hands on as, as soon as possible. So we have a, um, our CNC book. We also teach uh, G code. We, we still believe even though you're gonna be a CAM programmer, I'm on the firm belief that, that you should still be able to read your own code. So this is in our book and we teach it how to manually program the parts. So all our students have ability to learn manual programming this part. They have to simulate it. They have to make this part on a machine. And then we teach them how to make an in cam, right? So this is this is this is what what it looks uh, of, of cam. As Mark correctly stated, cam works. You can teach it uh, to be very effective uh, using the uh, technology database. So when we um, uh, set up a school license, we also give them a tech database that's got some. Uh, it hands on, and um, and then we also give them a post processor so they if they got, this is in, I think this is for a horizontal, but they can also run on a mini mill or a Siemens or any any type of a control, and then we and then we give them an editor. But I'll give you a quick quick example. One one of the things that we teach students, and and they really. Um, love learning this part that's what i'm going to show you really quick is is doing a, what we call it a one-shot roughing operation and this is um uh, this is a technology database works in in uh, um in camber so if you want to do cnc program to rough out all this all this operation uh and this does not come what i'm showing you now is real it doesn't come out of camber's box and this is developed through students and this kind of stuff that teach it but in this case, basically, the, the, the cameras can look at all this whole part, what it is, and we call it a, um, the develop a technology database called One Shot Roughing. Uh, students click on this button, and they all develop these technologies themselves. And we help them with the feeds and speeds and basically generate a tool pad, and, um, and, and, and you can simulate it. And with that, that's how quickly... Uh, um, young people and they can take this to the machine and rough out this whole part but the most importantly now so once that we we teach them and i'm going to delete this thing once they learn how to do all the all the cam data then we make him go on a real simulation right so in this case i'm going to demo oh sorry about this and be open i'm going to demo the programs that we got going right now and uh this is um I think this is a school in Ohio, and also the same configuration uh, just got set up in a, a, a school in a school in Colorado called Cherry Creek, and also in Ohio, Northwest Ohio Community College. But in this case, this is in Colorado, it's Advanced uh, Manufacturing uh, Center. They sent the teachers down here. We trained them to develop it. Uh, this is a Haas mini mill. Uh, they put those machines in the facility. 
And um, this teacher, Ross, is really, really a great teacher. And as soon as this, this COVID issue come up, uh, he called us and they were able to use um, this and they were able to continue teaching a teacher using the simulation. Uh, so in this case, this is a real, a real CC machine that we can uh, uh, runs the code like a Haas. You can strip the sheet metal, and you can post from Camworks. Uh, in this case, uh, you can get a code for all of you that are really familiar with this. Uh, you can post process directly to our simulation, um, and then when the code goes into the machine, and I'll get in a little more detail here in a second. The students can come here, but before that, they had to set up the machine and I'll have to get it in a second, but then, uh, then they actually can manufacture this whole part and I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Uh, so, so everything I did there now, the students actually can do it before, even regardless if they're learning this virtually or in school, um, everybody runs to a simulation first like this make sure there's no collision. This, our software detects all the collisions, is designed strictly for education and industry, and it creates the full syntax check, uh, and, and the student has to do a complete setup to learn this uh, hands-on. Uh, we call this a hands-on project. Take a little bit of time before we get uh, into um, questions. So that's the part that we made in Camworks. This is how we simulate it. We take it to a real machine, we actually see, uh, and, and the students can strip the uh, sheet metal, they can watch, see what's uh, going on, and they can have the reference work piece in the background and see, um, see if they cause any damage, they have any surplus material, so is their machine in it. So, and let me go back. So, so you kind of see how the simulation works, it's just like a real machine. But before that, the student actually, um, he or she um, sets up their own table. They have to do their whole vice. In this case, the schools uh, want to use a CURT vice. Uh, they can develop their own clamping. They do zero register, identical process that they would do on a real machine. They do it here in a simulation. And then they can take the tool system, you know, look at any, any tooling that they might need uh, and they set it up in a, a school. So in this case, these two schools, this is a tool system they use in a, a, on a Haas mini mill to teach. I think that in Colorado, it's a comprehensive high school. Uh, and in Ohio, um, there's a community college. And also we've been promoting a lot of community colleges to, to train the workforce in the industry need in that area. Uh, we're doing a program like that with uh, Greenville, South Carolina, uh, we also know, I see somebody there from North Carolina. We are Olympic, uh, uh, Olympic community schools up in North Carolina. In Texas, we work with Texas A&M uh, Extension Services. Uh, in Texas, Boeing uh, used our training program. We used a simulation software like that. Uh, so, you know, in Jersey, we work with NJIT um, and so forth. And the other tool we use um, to teach but virtually is, is an e-learning program, and, and that's been very popular now with, with, with COVID. Uh, if a student wanna learn um, a, a CNC, uh, e-learning program is all tied around a simulation. I'm not gonna bore you, it's a full, this is a full Haas curriculum that takes you both in the late and the mail, and um, uh, you know, it kind of works as exercises throughout there, but you know, this is a, just a simple code. It's gonna look and the feel of it. When a student learns the, the concept of this, they can go directly into simulator and uh, seeing this uh, part uh, being performed. So this has kind of become um, more and more, most of the schools that have been teaching um, in Florida, Eastern State College is doing it virtually online now in Colorado. Uh, depending what happens in Ohio, whether they go back to school or not. Uh, if they go back to school, they're going to be using it in campus. If not, uh, they're going to be using that. They're going to be using it virtually. So this is a full CSE training program. It's uh, 166 lessons, and they're all done through. Um, and then through this whole process, the teachers have. Uh, um, uh, and we do the same thing with Camworks. 
there's a lot of exercises in here and that would actually learn uh, how to write a, a CNC program. And um, in this case, they're gonna make the part here. And when they finish it, they send the results to the teacher and the teacher can uh, actually do a performance measurement, uh, see how they did on a test. How are we doing on time, Mark? We're, we're gonna leave some, you said 10 minutes for um, questions yep. and answers? Yep. Yep, we've got a few questions, Al, but a couple more minutes and we'll jump in. All right, so, so this is a this is turning piece and then uh, it's, it's all color code, as you see here. This is a different function that, you, that, that you know, our students, our, our, uh, this training program, students, it resides on a student's computer. Uh, in case everybody's got a question, this is not, a, a, this is not cloud based. They have it on their home and it runs on any computer as long as you have a, a resolution that you can see that the, the a clear. And now uh, we've run, we've delivered um, CAMWORKS, believe it or not, we delivered CAMWORKS and um, uh, our training to um, Caterpillar uh, and we ran it on a $500 laptop, a Toshiba laptop. We were able to successfully run the whole program. Uh, we did a two weeks training there for Caterpillar in, uh, in Texas. Caterpillar uses this training system uh, worldwide. Um, they're one of, one of our customers. So this is kind of, uh, okay, we got a couple more minutes. Um, so this gives you a little bit of idea how, how the CAM works and why we use CAM systems. And, and, and then we tie it to our real simulation so the students can actually um, uh, make the part. I'll show you a little bit, a couple of our testing parts. Yeah, can you open this here, Justin, not, not testing? Uh, uh, the demo starter. So our, our training and our software is also used in uh, Germany for all the apprentice training, uh, apprentices training. This is a couple of exercises I'm going to show you here really quick on a turning, on a turning center. Again, this is live. So we also have a post process that can go directly from KMORX and actually manufacture this part. And uh, um, a student, again, sets up all the tooling and to see an actual real, real machine uh, uh, make, making this part. It's actually a test. And if for all of you that experience out there, you're gonna see this is running a Siemens uh, control. Uh, so with KMORS, it's nice to have a really incredibly good post processors that can post to uh, Haas, Siemens, and, and our simulation can read the neutral code. So when we simulate a tool pad, we simulate it directly, just like it's being run on a real CNC machine. The same thing here, even on a training center, the student has to set up the machine. Uh, they set up their own tooling, uh, just like they would on a, on a, on a real C machine, a CNC machine. This is a pretty complex part. Uh, so this is kind of, I don't know if you got a few questions, Mark. It's uh, just yep. a stopping point for me. You said 10 minutes, right? So Yeah, no, that's perfect, Al. Thanks so much for your presentation. Um, it was great. And let me just answer a few of the questions that I see popped up. Most of most of these are in the chat section. So, but, um, let's see, uh, let's see. Van, you ask about, uh, we seem to concentrate a lot on simulation. Is this competing with Vericot? Not really. I mean, I, the MTS simulation is just outstanding as you can see, but it was primarily developed for educational purposes. And that's what um, you know, it's currently being used for and marketed for is for education. Um, you can see how the MTS interface is different in that it is exactly like a real machine and it mimics a real machine. And so it acts and does exactly what the machine would do. And that's really important. You can even see when it does tool changes, it, it does a little up and down movement there on the on the Haas. That's exactly what happens on the Haas machine when a tool change occurs. And so it, it's really outstanding that way. And it is primarily developed for education, though, as you can see, it's an outstanding simulator. Um, even for commercial purposes. So, uh, but it, it's really it's really useful for, for education and for teaching students um, about real machines and virtually, virtually running a real machine. Uh, I, think, I think it's great that way. And that, that uh, MTS simulator, Ying, you ask, 
Uh, is it uh, part of the SOLIDWORKS CAM? No, it is not. That is the MTS simulator, machine simulator that we're looking at. That is, uh, is Al's, Al's uh, claim to fame, you might say, or, or great value added uh, resource that he adds to the CAMWORKS and SOLIDWORKS CAM products is the MTS simulator and along with curriculum and training materials and just a, a whole host of, of uh, really great resources for uh, education and for teachers that are looking to, to train their students on advanced CAD CAM technologies. Um, and let's see, another question was, uh, does CAM work link to all types of CNC machine. John asked that. John, yes, um, as Al mentioned, we have post processors for a whole variety of different CNC machines, and we have a big library of posts that are available at, for just about every CNC that's out there. So, um, and that includes full on four and five axis and all that with the CamWorks product. Um, Somebody asked about routers, uh, um, Mark, and we support all the routers, three, all the three to five access routers. Yeah. Uh, the routers, the tooling is different. Um, and we have a very um, MCO and different different type of routers. The Festo router is one of the routers that we use. Um, so yes, we do support all the routers. Um, uh, yeah. So are, are, is Mark correctly said the simulation is used uh, uh, for training? It's been around for 25 years. It's used in Germany using the certification. And um, another question was, what's what's important certification? In, in our case, uh, we've been um, so so. Certification is a kind of a, a, a tricky question, right? It's a major one. You got NIMS. You got um, CPT. The problem is. Um, getting the industry to recognize the certification, right? So so in our case, we uh, developed a certification that so students can pass the CNC level one and a CPT is at the same time because C CPT or a certified production technician, it's a, it's a national recognized certification. In our case, we use a global certification. It's called IHK, and that is recognized um, uh, especially in Germany and Europe, because this is run by a, a nonprofit organization called um, Chamber of Industry. So all apprentices in Europe or Germany, twice a year, they take an apprenticeship test, and, and th this is the software that they use for doing the, the, the testing. Yeah. A couple other questions. Um, is there a student version of CamWorks available? Yes, there is. Uh, there certainly certainly is one available. Um, what type of certifications are needed? I think Al just answered that one. Real uh, quick, Mark, if you don't yep. mind, the student version. So that was a great question. So we encourage everything that we do here that, that I showed, including CamWorks, we try to give students access 24-7. I think it's extremely important. We found the students, the schools that done that, done that, those students excel really, really well. So, uh, and, and so when we work with schools, we 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 uh, we get students to use it uh, uh, twenty four seven. Yeah. Thanks, Al. And then Ethan, you made a comment about uh, about CAM at the importance of CAM, um, and we couldn't agree more in terms of, uh, and not only for mechanical engineers or manufacturing people, but also what's often overlooked is for design, for design engineers. Um, you know, I've been doing webinars recently, uh, a webinar in SolidWorks CAM for designers, and it's one of the most widely attended webinars that I do. Um, it, it just goes to show that a lot of companies need to, their, their engineers and designers need more manufacturing experience. Uh, they, you know, design for manufacturers crucial. And so, you know, the, the, uh, the ability for those engineers to learn more about uh, CAM and, and manufacturing is critical to their success as design engineers. So in fact, it, yeah, ha haven't been in industry, Al. You know, too. I, you know, some of the best designers and and uh, talking about managers of of large companies of engineering managers of engineering for large companies are the those who have the most manufacturing experience. Mm -hmm. That's typical of of those. And, and Mark, there's a question up there I'd like to answer. Somebody in Ohio asked, uh, "How much is the software for CT in Ohio?" 
In Ohio, we are working with an organization called Jobs Ohio. So um, contact Lene up there. Um, so with them, they come over here, vetted us about a year and a half ago. They went through all our customer base. They really checked us out. And they recently uh, helped fund this program for four community colleges in four corners of Ohio. The first community college, uh, unfortunately, because of um, COVID, a couple of uh, community colleges didn't allow the teachers to fly out, but but there's one community college that had three teachers here last week. They flew down here. We just completed the teacher training. And uh, so give us give us a call and we'll connect you with uh, uh, Lene over at the Jobs Ohio. But their Ohio is really, really focusing in this industry. And, and try to get all the schools to get this started. So I think we can help you get some funding in Ohio. Terrific. No, each machine that you want to add does not cost. So if you have a, if you have a Haas machine, uh, if you have a Haas H Tech Center, we include, uh, we have two mini mill, we have three, and we never charge for any extra machines, uh, software strictly priced based on the control. Um, so, machines we include we have how we also have our own machine builder that, that does that um, and let's see if I uh, hope I answer let me see uh, and then then uh, if, if you get a chance go on go what I'm running here is our, our demo version you can download it from um, from the web and kind of play with it uh, the, the kind of works when you download it everything works except you can you have to run the programs that are in here. So just basically uh, uh, click on uh, any part you want to run. For example, let's look at. Um, oh, we, we only have a minute or so left. So let okay. me just jump in and say, because I think they're going to shut it off here on us. But um, okay. let me just jump in and say, get, go to www.camworks.com for more information. And Al, your website is? Machinesolutions.com. Okay, terrific. So that's where you can get more information. And I think they're about to stop the broadcast here. So okay. thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, yeah. Sally Professor. Thanks, everybody attended. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Al. Appreciate All right. it. Thank you, Mark. Good job. Likewise. Thank you.